Good day. Welcome to our second class of DNA Code of Life, uh, where we're looking at protein synthesis. But now some will ask, why do we need to start? Why do we need to know these proteins? Why are proteins important? Okay. Now, proteins are very much important in our body, and uh, they form part of the structural system. Uh, so here, they form part of the structural system okay they support our pod ag is collagen is part of what uh it's actually a protein then we also look at hormones hormones are what you call such as uh, your insulin glucagon uh also proteins then we know that uh, we know we know of enzymes enzymes that speed up chemical reactions and uh, what you call and these are also uh, proteins for example we have the catalase we have uh, uh, amylase these are different types of uh, or, uh, enzymes uh, that we see and also it for helps us in terms of immunity proteins are very much important uh, uh, very much important in, in terms of immunity uh, antibodies antibodies so the antibodies are proteins okay so these protect us against diseases and you also see that um, proteins repair worn out tissues or damaged tissues so proteins uh, 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 repair, repair, damage tissues. Okay, so these are the things that you must understand in terms of uh, proteins and know that uh, DNA is actually very much important because DNA is the one that provides the code for the synthesis of proteins. Now, let's look at the first, uh, what called our first slide here, when we are looking at the, uh, what called introduction. And what we see here, these are amino acids. These are amino acids. Amino acids. And amino acids are building blocks. Building blocks of proteins so amino acids are building blocks of proteins which we also refer to as monomers so amino acids are monomers okay then we need to look at uh, what called how are these amino acids arranged we can see that we have got they are co linked together by what you call peptide bond so you must remember this bond when you are actually when uh what called this topic you must remember the bond that link up uh, amino acid so you must understand that we have 20 different uh what is it amino acid that link or that combined in different uh, uh what called sequences uh, to form a, a what is it different proteins so they have different combinations that give us uh what called a variety of uh, uh proteins now what we need to understand again is that a number of amino acids and the sequence of these amino acids determine the type of protein that we are dealing with okay so let me just uh, okay Okay, so determine the type of proteins uh, that we are, are, are dealing with. Now, where does protein synthesis occur? So site, we want to know the site of protein synthesis. It occurs in the ribosomes. It occurs on the ribosomes. But does it start on the ribosomes or it ends on the ribosomes? It ends on the ribosomes. So that's where we have the combination of your amino acids. But now it it is in uh, what called split it in two stages. We have two stages of amino of a protein synthesis, which include your transcription, transcription, transcription. Sorry, there. Transcription and transcription 
occurs in the nucleus. So this occurs in the uh, nucleus. Okay, I'll give you the reason for that. Then we have got translation. Translation, which occurs on the cytoplasm, or you can simply say your ribosomes, which are in the cytoplasm. Now, your DNA is in the nucleus. As we all know that the site, main site of your DNA is in the nucleus, and your, we are saying your DNA is big in size, it's large, so it can't leave the nucleus. So DNA cannot leave the nucleus. So it has to, it has to send the message. It has to send the message to the ribosomes. But who is going to carry this, uh, what call, uh, what call uh, the message? Is what call the messenger RNA. So messenger RNA is the to carry the message. And this message is carried by messenger RNA. So messenger RNA is the one that is has to, that has to copy the message in the nucleus and take it uh, to the uh, ribosomes. So we are saying translation now, we are saying that message of uh, what you call, that is a specific sequence of bases that we see in the, what is it, in the, in the, in the nucleus, we, 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 it has to be translated to amino acid a sequence. So we are saying the base sequence, base sequence is translated to amino acid sequence. So that base sequence is related to amino acid sequence, and now we have a protein. Okay, let's look into this individual, what is it, uh, uh, stages, okay? Let's see here what we are talking about in terms of uh, transcription, okay? Transcription, we are saying we have a nucleus there. So nucleus, you can see nucleus uh, by the double membrane. Because the nucleus is double membrane. Okay. You can see it passing there. Okay, like that. That's our nucleus there. And let me just try to make some nuclear pose here. Yeah. So we have got some nuclear pores there. Okay. We have some nuclear pores there that are coming up now. Now, then we have got a DNA. Now on the DNA, let's use another color here. We are saying, remember DNA is, uh, what is it? It's double-stranded. Then, and your, your information on the, to, to give information for your protein, is actually contained here, a segment of it. So we are saying this is a segment of the DNA that needs that code for a particular, uh, what is it, protein, okay? So this is the segment of the DNA that code for a particular protein. And we are saying in that case now, let's have our basis. Let's have triplet basis. And these triplet basis, we call them the codons. These triplet bases, we call them uh, what you call uh, codons. So let's have here, let's have A, let's have T, let's have C, let's also have maybe, let's say G, uh, A, uh, C. Now, your messenger RNA is built from free nucleotides that are that are in the nucleoplasm. So we've got the free nucleotides here uh, that are in the in the nucleo nucleoplasm. For example, here we can just say maybe we have got A uh, in the what in the nucleoplasm. We have got uh, what is it C? Uh, what call in the nucleoplasm? We have got uh, T in the nucleoplasm. Okay, 
We have also T in the nucleoplasm. So these are free nucleotides that we are talking about. So these are free nucleotides. Free nucleo. Now, free nucleotides build messenger RNA strand. It builds messenger RNA strand. So, messenger RNA strand here comes here, and we have got messenger RNA coming here, and it's also long. Okay, guys. It's also long, it's also long like that. So what we have here, we've got the messenger RNA copying the message. So this will be U. So instead of T, we now have U. Then you have got A here, we have got G, we have got uh, C, we have got U, we have got G. So once we see that, once we see you, you must indicate, must help us to understand that that's a RNA because we don't have uracil in DNA. Now, for this one here, we can just write uh, what, call, what we're supposed to have there. It's supposed to be have T there, there is A there, G, uh, C, T, and what? And G. So what we have here, this is a DNA strand this DNA, and this is now messenger RNA. Okay, so what happens, your DNA opens up is a segment, and this segment is what to call a gene. So this is what to call a what? A gene, this particular segment that, that opens here. And this gene, it called for the synthesis of a specific protein. It calls for synthesis of a specific protein. So what happens now is when your messenger RNA copies the message, it can now leave, it leaves the nucleus ribosomes. Okay, so that's what happens here. So these are nuclear pores, so it passed through the nuclear pore. Remember we said DNA is big, it's big, it can't fit on the nuclear pores. It can't fit on these nuclear pores, so it needs to send a message. Now, let's write now the process of, uh, what you call the process of transcription. I think now we now understand how the process works. Because the first one here, we are saying DNA, its structure is double helix. Is a double helix. So what happens here? I'm just gonna write here the back here. I'm just gonna write with the, the we are saying is a double, double helix. And if it's double helix, it needs to unwind. DNA unwind. Then number two, there we are saying your DNA is double stranded. So DNA is double. double stranded so if it's double stranded what happens what does it need to do dna so we are saying the double stranded here we're saying the weak hydrogen bonds weak hydrogen bond breaks now when the weak hydrogen bond breaks what happens to the dna dna and zip Okay, so we are saying here, it's coiled like this, it's, it's helical in shape. What happened to it? It has to unwind. When it's unwind, it's now straight. But when it's straight like this, you find that it needs to, uh, to unzip. It needs to unzip like what happens here. Unzipping, it, it means that your weak hydrogen bonds has to break first. Okay, let's go on to the third step here. So we are saying one strand. Here is, is an, another, another major point to mark here one strand, one strand, one strand act, act as a template. So remember, it's different from DNA replication, where two strands, where each strand, the two strands act as templates. But here, in this case here, we just want to copy from one side of the, uh, what we call DNA, which we call uh, what called which it becomes our template. So template is only one strand that is uh, that 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 uh, what called uh, that is involved here. Then we have on the fourth step, we are saying free 
nucleo tides in the nucleoplasm build a complementary messenger RNA strand one of the DNA strands. Okay, so free nucleotides in the nucleoplasm builds a complementary uh, what called a message RNA strand from one of the DNA strand. Now we have got uh, what called the messenger RNA. And we are saying again, something that you need to understand here, the bases are arranged as triplet bases. So triplet bases here, what you need to understand here is that triplet bases, bases, so triplet, there are three bases. of messenger RNA are called cordon bases. They are called cordon, cordon bases. Okay, they are called cordon bases. Okay, now what happens to your, to your transfer to messenger RNA now? It leaves the, uh, what called the nucleus to the ribosome. So this becomes your 50, uh, what you call step, where your, your, your messenger RNA leaves the, the what you call messenger RNA, leaves uh, what you call the nucleus uh, to the ribosomes. Okay. So that's the whole process of uh, what you call a transcription here. Then we can move on to translation now. Now on the translation, translation here, we said it's a case where on the ribosomes. It occurs on the ribosomes, and we also said, um, uh, you know, that one will indicate it now. So what we have here, we have a ribosome. So we have ribosomes here. And what happens now is that your messenger RNA, okay, your messenger RNA comes here and lies here. So when it's here now, we have got those triplet bases, and those triplet bases, in this case, we remember ATC, let's write here, ATC, no, 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 sorry, remember we are copying from the messenger RNA, it's going to be UAG, UAG, and the other one was uh, C U G C U G. Now this lies on what you call the ribosomes. So you have got the ribosomes here. Okay, on the ribosomes, and we have got our messenger RNA. And this one here, we are saying these are codon bases. Okay, then from there, what do we do? We have got, uh, what is it? We have got transfer RNAs, transfer RNA, transfer RNA are here in the, what is it? In the, in the cytoplasm. So transfer RNA, we have got also triplet bases there. And these triplet bases, we call them anticodons. So we can put any, any order here, we can put A, U, U, and we refer to this as anticodon. Anticodon basis. And this is our transfer RNA. And what it carries here, it carries amino acid. It can be proline. Now, this is an amino acid. So you need to understand that transfer RNA is have the codon bases, 
and cotton base, sorry. Then you also have uh, what called carries, uh, what is it, an amino acid there. And amino acid here, we can give an example of proline. And again, you don't need to remember names of amino acid. You also don't need to remember which, uh, what you call, which um, uh, triplet bases code for certain protein, okay? For certain amino acid, you don't need to remember that. There is no need to, uh, to remember that. Now, what do we now have is that we will have a uh, transfer RNA coming close here. One here will come with the complementary base pairing with complementary article uh, basis. It will come to your messenger RNA here, the ribosomes. And remember it's carrying a protein a sort of amino acid. And in this case here, we have got, we have got three bases there. And this base have to be, have to complement with the messenger RNA. So for example, here is gonna be A. Here for A, uh, A is U. Then for G, it's C. So what we have, we've got A, U, C, which complements with U, A, G. And it will be carrying an amino acid here, which can be uh, methionine. Then you have, methyl nine and now we have got another amino i mean another another uh, what is it transfer rna that comes again here also to pair with uh so this is this is just temporary so it's temporary here and this amino acid can be valine okay so what we see that You transfer RNA brings amino acid. You transfer RNA brings amino acid. So we've got G, we've got A, we've got C. So that's what we have. We've got G, A, C, we've got U, A, uh, what you call A, U, C, and we've got Vala in there. Then this one continues like that. It continues to have uh, to connect with uh, different types of proteins, uh, amino acid. And what we now have here is what you call a peptide, peptide bond. So once transfer RNA brings uh, amino acid, the amino acid here down here will bond together. When they bond here, the they what you call the transfer RNA will leave and take another one, collect another amino acid. So you've got a free amino acid in the, in the what is it, in the cytoplasm, and you also have a, what you call a, a transfer RNA, trying to find where can they actually attach, temporarily attach. So this attachment here is temporary because they need to go and fetch more as this, a, what, you call, a, what you call amino acid are connecting together to give us a, what you call a protein. So this one here is amino acid now, amino, acid sequence. Amino acid sequence will give us a protein. Okay, so that's what actually happening during, during transfer RNA, during translation, sorry. What happens here, your messenger RNA comes, lies on the ribosomes, your transfer RNA brings amino acid. So we are saying the first step there, amino acid, the messenger RNA, Uh, align itself on the ribosomes, exposing the cordon basis. But two, what we see is that your transfer RNA. Carrying amino acid attach to the cordon basis to the messenger RNA attaches to messenger to messenger rna 
complementary base pairing. Through complementary base pairing, in this case, we know that A pairs with U and G pairs with C. Okay, then number three there, what we see is that, uh, what is it, amino acids? Amino acids bond are linked are bonded together, are linked together by peptide bond. So we have the peptide bond here forming here. We need to remember this bond here. We have the peptide bond forming between, what is it, your amino acid and, and the long chain now we are seeing the long chain formed is protein that you're talking about. So here, what we need to understand here, this will, this we are just taking a small part of it, a small part of it. So we can see that we have got two bases here, but it can it actually can be long because we are saying the smallest protein have got 50 amino acids. So smallest protein, the smallest have 50 amino linked together. Okay, so we have got 50 amino acids linked together. So we are saying here, it will continuously. So as it comes here, the messenger RNA will be moving also to the right there. As it moves, amino uh, transfer RNA brings, uh, what called brings, uh, uh, what is it? Brings amino acid, transfer RNA brings amino acid and amino acid down here are forming, are, linked, are linking together, uh, are linked together by a peptide bond. But what we need to understand is that we are saying that this sequence we are seeing here, is also followed here because your transfer RNA carries specific amino acid. So here is another thing to put a study. there. Transfer RNA carries specific amino acid. So we can predict the structure of the protein because we know that this type of transfer RNA carries uh, this particular uh, what call amino acid. So that's what you're talking about here. So we find that uh, we have methyl 9 here, we put valine here, connected together. It continuously goes on like that is uh, what called to give us a long chain, which becomes our, our protein. Okay, so let's look at the summary here. Let's look at the summary and see what we have. So we are saying the process starts in the nucleus where we have transcription and you can see that part of the DNA opens up. When it opens up, transfer RNA, messenger RNA copies the message. Once it copies the messenger RNA, it goes to the ribosomes. Now we have the ribosomes there. They're uh, saying transport of cytoplasm to the, uh, through the nuclear pore. It's passed through the nuclear pore, yes. Then we can see what we have here is that we have got a transfer RNA carrying free nucleotides. So we've got free amino acids, sorry. With free amino acid here in the in the in the cytoplasm, so a transfer RNA comes and picks it up, brings it to the to the, to the cytoplasm, to the ribosome. Sorry, it brings the ribosomes. Then another transfer RNA comes with another uh, what called uh, 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 amino acid. It comes there, it links. So you can start it leaves again and fetch another another uh, amino acid. Then the third um, uh, transfer RNA brings another amino acid. Again, it attaches after being attached to the next one, it leaves, it goes on like that until we have a long, uh, what you call a newly formed protein or a long chain of amino acid uh, connected together. So here is something that you need to understand here when they're giving questions here. You must understand this. They want you to label what this is. 
And once you see this thing, funny, funny structure here, which uh, for uh, what you call uh, some, uh, what you call some like sort of branches here, you know that, oh, that's my transfer RNA. And what type of basis does it carry? It carries what you call anticodon basis. And again here, amino acid, you want to see amino acid connected together, you must know that, oh, what are they linked? Uh, they are linked with what? They are linked by peptide bond. Okay, so here, something to remember, you may remember the transfer RNA very well, and you must be able to notice that the anticodon, distinguish between the anticodon, the codon, also uh, what you call uh, the peptide bond, the peptide bond, you must remember it, you must remember it. And what else again, being able to identify the messenger RNA, that's also another thing that you need to also be able to identify. And also your ribosomes, where, uh, what you call site of, what is it? Site of, uh, what you call um, a, a translation or site of protein synthesis. That's what you need to remember here. Once you remember these things, once you're able to recognize these things, then you are good to go. Thank you so much. Until next time.